You know what happened last week? I accidentally cut my finger while chopping vegetables. It was bleeding a lot. Then after a few minutes, the bleeding stopped and I bandaged it. And voila, in three days, my wound was healed. Right now, if you take a close look, there's just a scar left. But did the bandage do some magic? Or is there some secret inside our body that heals our wounds? Come, let's find out. To understand how a wound heals, we first must understand our skin. The skin has three layers, right? The top layer or epidermis, which we can see and touch, continuously makes new skin cells and continuously also sheds old skin cells. The middle layer or dermis has blood vessels and the last layer or hypodermis has fat cells. Sometimes when we get a wound, it's only a scratch to the upper layer and so it might not bleed. But at times, it's a deep cut or a wound. Deeper the cut, more the time it takes to heal. Let's quickly get into how a wound heals. So say you've cut your finger and the cut caused a rupture in the blood vessels. Ouch! That sounds deep, right? But what next? Step 1 is stopping the bleeding. When your skin is cut, you usually start to bleed. Within minutes or even seconds, a special blood cell called platelets rushes to the wound and starts to clump together to create a clot. This clot protects the wound and prevents further blood loss. The blood vessels now become narrow and hence the bleeding stops. Step 2 is inflammation. Once the wound is closed with a clot, the blood vessels can open a bit to allow fresh nutrients and oxygen into the wound for healing. Oxygen-rich blood is essential for healing. Another type of blood cell, a white blood cell, is the wound protector. This cell fights infections. You might see some clear fluid on or around the wound or cut at this time. This fluid is helping clean out the wound. This process takes 2-5 to five days. Step 3 is growth and rebuilding. Over the next 3 weeks, the body will repair the broken blood vessels. Red blood cells play an important role in this. Chemical signals are passed to the brain and the brain instructs the red blood cells to create more collagen. Now, what is collagen? Collagen are tough white fibers that form the foundation for the creation of a new tissue. All this happens inside, but what we can see is just a scar that is reddish or pinkish. Step 4 is strengthening. Over time, the new tissue gets stronger. You might notice some scratching or itching near the wound, but please don't do that. Within three months, the wound is almost as it was before the trauma. So we have heard the saying, time heals all wounds, right? This is almost always true. Any wound will require three months to heal, but sometimes a wound does not heal on its own. It requires medical intervention. Such wounds are called chronic wounds. So we saw a fresh wound that is red or pink in colour and it will form a scab in a week. But a chronic wound is not like that. It will be brown, green or purple and may have a foul smell. There might be a discharge oozing out from that even after two weeks and you might notice some swelling too. If you see any of these signs in your wound after two weeks, please rush to the doctor immediately. But what causes a wound to not heal on its own? Here are the five reasons. Infection, poor blood circulation, poor nutrition, repeated trauma to the same site and diabetes. Most wounds leave scars, right? In the comments, tell us how you got a scar and share your wound story with us. Till then, like, share and subscribe to Let's Tute for more such informative content. See you next time.